Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our daily devotion. We are on the fourth episode of the Kingdom of Righteousness. And uh, the fourth episode is on practice righteousness. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for giving us this wonderful platform so that we can honor you and give you praise, exalt you, magnify you and give you praise. You are the King of Kings that is seated on the throne that is highly exalted. We thank you, our Father, because you are righteous. That is why you are calling us into righteousness, to do what is right, to do what is guided by thee. And Father, we thank you because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But you come to give life and give it in abundance. Heavenly Father, we are, we are glad because my Father, you will not allow us, King of Glory, to be destroyed by the enemy. And anywhere, King of Glory, we have opened door to the enemy. We ask you, Father, to shut it as we command the devil out of our lives in Jesus' name and pray that you are taking charge and you be in control so that we can walk in righteousness to please you and to glorify you. Lord, we thank you because, my Father, you are teaching us on how to hear your voice. And only your voice are we going to hear and believe and trust. And all these other evil voices, my Father, we shut them out of our lives and we declare only you, our God, will be heard and declared in our lives and even in the nations. We honor you and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, in First Peter chapter 3, verses 8 to 16, and I believe you've been able to listen to, verse, uh, to the first and second and third episode on uh, the kingdom of righteousness. And uh, we will see if you want to dwell in this kingdom of righteousness, you got to stay in it and practice righteousness. And righteousness is to say what is right, to do what is right, to think what is right, to see what is right, and to stand right before God and men. That is what practicing righteousness is. We are going to see in 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 to 16. Now, finally, all of you should be like-minded and sympathetic, should love believers and be compassionate and humble, not paying back evil for evil or insult for insult, but on the contrary, giving a blessing since you were called for this so that you can inherit a blessing for the one who wants to love life and to see good days must keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. And he must turn away from evil and do what is good. He must seek peace and pursue it. Because the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open to their request. But the face of the Lord is against those who do what is evil and deserve this suffering. And who will harm you? If you are deeply committed to what is good, but even if you should suffer for righteousness, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear or be disturbed, but honor the Messiah as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. However, do this with gentleness and respect, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are accused, those who denounce your Christian life will be put to shame. Yes, we are supposed to, we are told to love believers and to be compassionate and humble and not paying back evil for evil or insult for insult. There is something the Lord is telling us that we are supposed to do. We are supposed to love life and to see good days. And we are told that we keep our tongue from evil and our lips from speaking deceit. There is no way you are going to get a blessing from the Lord when you lie. The only way you are going to receive the blessing from the Lord is to shun and turn away from evil and do what is right. We are told we must seek peace and pursue it. That which is not bringing peace in your life, keep off from it. That which is lying, keep up from it. Whatever is a lie, you keep from it. Anything connected with lies, you're supposed to keep up from it if you want God to bless you. And you are told uh, because our, the eyes of our Lord are on the righteous. 
and his ears are open to their request only if you're doing what is right in his eyes in the eyes of god what has been labeled as evil keep away from it but if you are keeping some evil it's like keeping a snake in the house or maybe you're keeping a baby snake in the house or you're keeping an egg of a snake in the house one day it's gonna hatch and it's gonna be a snake and what is gonna happen to that snake that you're keeping you, that is the same way keeping evil trying to embrace evil or covering what is evil open what is evil and shun it completely because you hide it it's gonna it's gonna destroy you and that is why the devil comes to steal when the devil has stolen don't be quiet announce let the devil let people know that the devil has come and has stolen and let the enemy know that he's an enemy and he has come and you have known he's an enemy and he has stolen because after stealing what is he gonna do the next thing the enemy after stealing is killing and what does that what does he do he kills so that he can destroy the enemy doesn't come to steal so that he can he can he can persuade tell you oh yeah you you're okay no the enemy will not do that the enemy will come to steal so that he can kill and destroy so if you know that that's what the enemy is doing why allow the enemy to continue or why open the door for the enemy you shut every door where you know the enemy will pass because the his, the work of the devil is not to come and be a blessing the, the devil will not come to give you peace the devil does not bless the work of the devil to steal is to steal and even what he gives he gives what he has stolen and therefore whatever the devil will give you will give you what is stolen and what is stolen will surely be found and taken away so what i'm saying is that we need to face the enemy by letting the enemy know my door is not open for you my door is shut and the only one who is supposed to dwell here is the king of righteousness the one that i'm serving the one that i'll bow unto is the one that is doing righteousness because you know what yes if you are doing the right thing the end the lord will not allow you to suffer what when the enemy comes yes the suffering that will be there the lord will be with you but if you know where you are the lord is not with you don't dare to be in it because you know what not so many that are saying they belong to the lord belong to the lord they can lie to you and that's what the enemy is doing they are using platforms where they are lying to the people that they are christians so that they can be believed so that they can they can know how to steal from god's people that may we have the wisdom and that's what the lord is telling us we need to have wisdom we need to be wise so that we know when the enemy is coming and use the wisdom that God has given to us so that we are able to get rid of the enemy and be able to stand right before God and you know what we are told we are to give to be to be ready to be, we are told, uh, told to be ready to give a defense to what whoever who ask us of the reason of the hope that is in us which hope are we talking about hope in God only when you have invested in the lord that is when you are sure that whatever you have invested in you are gonna get it because you have invested in the lord and what is this investment in the lord i've given my life to the lord whatever i do i do it for the lord i don't do it because of anything else i'm doing it because of the lord my time that i dedicate unto the lord it's for him and i know there is a great harvest the lord is coming through and he's going to do mighty things he's going to do great and glorious things for his glory and he's telling us that he is here and he never put us to shame because he's our lord then in romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 5 therefore since we have been declared righteous by faith we have peace with god through our lord jesus christ we have also obtained access through him by faith into his grace in which we stand and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of god and not only that but we also rejoice in our afflictions because we know that affliction produces endurance endurance produces proven character and proven character produces hope 
this hope will not disappoint us because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has given, who was given to us. Glory to God. This hope will not disappoint us because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Let's hope in God. Let's rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Let us rejoice. Even when we go through afflictions, we are told that affliction is going to produce endurance. And endurance is going to prove, prove, uh, produces proven character. What ca kind of character uh, do you have? And the proven character produces hope. Hope in God is only God. That will be not ashamed us. He will always be there. He will never disappoint us. Because God's love has been poured in our hearts through the Holy Spirit. God's love doesn't come in any other way. He has been poured to us through the Holy Spirit. And what the Holy Spirit gives to us gives us peace and wisdom. Wisdom to discern what is good and what is not so that we are able to separate and pick that only what is good <coughs> may the lord bless you because the bible says first john 3 7 little children make sure no one deceives you the one who practices righteousness is righteous just as he is righteous we've been told persuaded we make sure no one deceives us. You see, when you allow someone to deceive us, the enemy to deceive us, the enemy will continue to deceive because you know the enemy's nature is deception. The nature of the enemy is lies. That is the nature of the enemy. And therefore, there is no way you will expect the enemy to do the, to do the right thing or even to speak the truth. Because the nature of the enemy, the nature of the devil is lies. And we are told, be sure, be aware, and make sure no one deceives you. So don't allow the enemy to deceive you. Let's practice righteousness. If you allow the enemy to deceive you are not practicing righteousness. And you are told, let's practice righteousness because our Lord who has called us is righteous and is only the righteous that will be blessed by the Lord God Almighty who is faithful and just and never lies. God bless you. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. This is Mother to the Amazing Champions and mother to the CMCs around the globe. I welcome you to partner with us at www.agracem.org. Also, follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Facebook is Karaoke Bishop Dr. Grace, and, face and YouTube is Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. Be blessed for now. Shalom, shalom, shalom.